Okay guys, so if you didn't already watch it, I had a video up um, for my seating and starter fert and stuff like that. Well, I got a bunch of starter fert left over um, and I don't really have anywhere to use it. Uh, I did the application rate that was recommended by the bag and I didn't get all the whole bag out. I only had to cover like 4,000 square feet and this is probably, um, well, a little more than a fifth of the bag left. So I, I didn't cover exactly perfect and that's fine. Um, like I said in that other video, I'm going to put some Milo down yeah, in a while. But what I want to try here is I don't think it's going to work, but I'm really interested in trying it. I'm going to dump this in a bucket and fill the bucket up with water and let this dissolve and absorb and I'm going to leave it in there for a while. Because this has 0.08% mesotrione, which is tenacity or miso or uh, miso 4C, I think is another one. But mesotrione is the chemical. And that is a the, the active ingredient in tenacity or the generic version of tenacity, whatever, that has pre- and post-emergent um, herbicide qualities. It's safe to use on seed, on new grass, um, but that's why a lot of people use it when they're seeding. Um, the, the liquid tenacity, they'll spray it on top of seed. Uh, it'll prevent weeds from germinating. It just kills them. Uh, well, this has pre-emergent qualities because it's a granular, so it'll make like that water vapor, water vapor, whatever it is. Um, so this has pre-emergent qualities because it's a granular, but since it's a granular, it doesn't stick to any leaves or anything, so it does not have um, post-emergent qualities, so I can't use it on something like nimble wheel to kill it. So I'm going to try an experiment and soak this, like I said, dissolve it to make a liquid, and then put that liquid in a hose-in sprayer and spray it on my nimble wheel. I want to see what happens. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. Um, and I don't know how the fertilizer is going to act. I don't know any of that stuff, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to do it right now. I don't have a tripod, so I'm going to have to shut you off. Well, actually here, let's see if I can't dump this. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn you off guys. I'm going to break my phone. Hold on. So I had way more than I thought. Um, you see how that line, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> um, but either way, whatever. I, I mean, I messed up, so that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. I think the grass seed's going to grow in just fine. So let's... Try putting some water in here. And I'm pretty sure this is going to take a while to break down. Because uh, that's the point of fertilizer. Uh, well, I guess quick release is not the point, but you get what I'm saying. I don't know how long this is going to take to break down. Um, and it's probably going to sit at the bottom of this water, so I'm probably going to need to mix it up like every day. But that's okay. If I remember, I remember. If not, not a big deal. So I'm probably going to fill this bucket up right above Menards there. Alright. Look there. So I don't have like a mixing paddle. Or anything for like my drill this that would be a really nice thing to have right now oh um but i think i got some other ways to mix this up i might just put on a big glove and mix it by hand sorry it's gonna be dark turn on the light here all right well that this light will turn on in a second um i guess i got a broom handle Let's give it a shot. It's like, like I said, that pearl size is so small. This is like mixing sand. Plus I'm using a stupid broom handle, so. Oh, there goes that light. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to take a while to dissolve. Like, maybe a week, maybe two. Uh, hopefully it dissolves faster than that. But what I'm going to do is take a, a cup or something. 
with the gloved hands, uh, probably very well gloved hands, uh, maybe just full on chemical handling rubber gloves like I got over here, instead of just the, and I'm gonna, these are okay, but I'm gonna get some uh, Golden Protective Services long gloves. Uh, the Golden Protective Services got some, some good gloves, man. Um, if you guys don't use Black Diesel or Max Diesel, check those out. They're on Amazon, I think they have a website. I mean, I know they do, but I don't know it. But I'm going to use those with a cup and dunk it in there once this is all dissolved. Uh, you know what? Actually, I don't know why I'm trying to be so confusing. Um, I'm just going to take my hose and sprayer, take that off using a gloved hand, dunk it in, fill it up to 32 ounces, um, and then spray it on tenacity. Um, I do need a, a non-ionic surfactant. Um, but since I am being crazy and stupid here, um, maybe stupid, I think I'm just going to use dish soap or baby shampoo or something like that because, yeah, I'm you know just lazy that way. Um, I might buy some non-ionic surfactant online. It's like 10 bucks for a bottle, but I also already have this huge bottle of dish soap, um, and that works just as good, right? Uh... No, I don't know. I'm probably going to get some real non-ionic surfactant to make this test actually work. But enough of me blabbing. Um, that's the test. I won't post this video until I do a results. So we'll see you then. Bye.